Hello viewers and welcome to the channel. It's Monday the 8th of May and you can see a park exit. There's actually an entrance. I've come into this. It's not even a park, it's a wood. And I'm actually at the top of quite a steep hill because this is an unknown route to a fairly famous local landmark. And today, the geography is going to be fantastic. So many things we're going to see on this walk, hopefully, including a new thing, two new things. But for now, I'm just walking down a steep hill, hoping there aren't any boggy bits. Because you know me and boggy bits, they don't go well together. Anyway, to get here, I've travelled by tube to Northwood Hills tube station, which is a bit of a clue as to where I am um, in the Northwood Hills area, you could say, um, which in fact is very well named because it's very hilly. And I've actually walked up from the tube station for half an hour all uphill, which I don't mind because we're going to go to somewhere not via the conventional route. <laughs> You'd have to, be, have to be mad to come this way normally, but all will, re will be revealed. Anyway, we're about a quarter of the way down this hill now. I'm hoping to hear an unusual sound. I can hear a dog barking, but that's not where we're going. Uh, I came up a very long road called Norwich Road. I love it when people name roads for no particular reason. I mean, there was no, it wasn't pointing towards Norwich. There was no sort of Norwich souvenirs. Let's have a quick scan around this wood. It's a kind of a, a mystery wood. I like woods. Let's keep going down. Um, I think one of the very early Doctor Who episodes title was The Petrified Forest. I think so. You can tell me if I'm wrong in the comments. And this is when William Hartnell was the Doctor. And in those days, we didn't contemplate that there would ever be a different one. What little did we know then? Anyway... I think in that in that those sequences, he comes across some uh, aliens who aren't very nice, called the Daleks. Maybe you've seen them. Anyway, I'm hoping not to see any Daleks today. Uh, the boggy path is enough to cope with. Thank you very much. Ah, now birds are chirruping. I prefer chirrup to tweet going to be my new bird language I think. No one about, not a sound. I think we're halfway down this path now and it's a lot easier going down than it was going up. But at the top of uh, Norwich Road was a nursing home called St Vincent's Nursing Home. I'm trying to remember that some, somebody sang a song about Vincent and I, I can't remember who it was. Was it Jean Pitney? I don't know. Again, if you know the answer, please put it in the comments. So I like the chirruping. I like the vegetation and the fact that it's a dry, ordinary enough day. It has been raining a bit today is why the path is boggy and I did see two horses earlier but they weren't going my way so I didn't try and catch a lift off the unoccupied one. The lady was riding one horse and uh, escorting another one which seemed a little bit precarious along the main road but what do I know? What do I know about horses? I think we'll uh, go avoid the boggiest bit go around 
take a bit of a detour here. Well, now I can hear what sounds like a, a helicopter, which is not what I was expecting at all. So we've heard dogs, a helicopter, but in fact the sound, you will recognise it when it, when it arrives, obviously. Maybe the helicopter, maybe it's the police or something looking for some escaped convict maybe from St Vincent's nursing home I don't know oh dear it is not easy no he's gone away of course nowadays if you are a criminal trying to hide from helicopters it's not very easy because they've got infrared so they can see you in the in the dark and in the daylight I presume because we all give off body heat, apparently. Me more than most, because I just climbed a, a hill. I heard another dog barking. Right, this is a particularly boggy bit. So I've rather slowed down, sorry about that. But uh, we'll soon get through it. Beset by boggy bits. That ought to be my uh, the name of my autobiography but I have thought of other names. <laughs> I won't tell you what they are just yet. Right, well, we've come to one of the vistas that I can show you, which is slightly unusual. We're not very close to it at the moment, but we'll scan towards it. And what it is, is something I promised for a while, and it's a golf course. It's through those trees just there. I could go over there and watch people play, but I don't think anyone's there. They're probably all quite sensibly staying at home watching Peter the Rock videos. I wish I was. No, not really. I like exploring places. And we're very near the bottom of this hilly path now. Still can't hear this mystery sound that I'm expecting to hear. And I wonder if you've guessed what it is yet, or will be. It's, uh, it's not a bird, it's not a dog, it's not a helicopter, it's not a plane, it's not Superman. <laughs> it has a nice bench for people to have a rest, but uh, I don't need a rest. When you get, do as much exploring as I do, you can be quite fit in theory. Um, right, so we've, we've seen one sight, albeit through the trees. I love that expression, albeit. It's all in, in one word. You can, you can encapsulate an entire half sentence. Wonderful, wonderful the English language, as are all languages, of course. And I, I can speak some, not many. Oh, look at that tree. That is interesting. Looks like it's somehow been in some paroxysm, paroxysm, I don't know. It's a twisted pain, but I'm sure it grew that way for, uh, for natural reasons. I could scan the camera upwards and you would see this dendritic fascination I have of how the branches evolve. Okay, I thought we were near the bottom. We were not, not too far still. Still can't hear this mystery sound. Um, and it's got boggy again. Should have started filming this much later. But, you know, I'm not perfect. Ah, now silence. The sound of silence. sung by um, Art Garfunkel and the other one, Paul Simon. Oh, look how boggy this is. That's going to be a challenge. Why don't we always say a challenge and a half or something and a half? I think we quite like the old uh, imperial units, really. 
never hear anybody say a challenge and 0.5 of a challenge. So an Im imperial sounds rather, I don't know, don't like the sound of that. Here, here's a nice bit that I can walk on. These aren't sleepers. <laughs> oh dear. I don't know how I'm going to get out of this. Um, um, I'm going to have to tread in the very boggy bit. Oh. Beset by boggy bits. Peter the Rock's biography. Come and see, or come and read about days of mud-filled misery. Ah, oh, that sounds like a crow. Or maybe it's a vulture. I thought I saw some people ahead as well. <laughs> I picked the wrong day to uh, come down a boggy path. But I'm hoping any minute now to hear an interesting sound. And um, we've gone away from the golf course. I didn't hear a single golf shot. Not very good at catching the action, am I? Cricket grounds, golf courses. Haven't yet actually seen anybody do any sport. But who knows? One day I'll be lucky. Anyway, we're coming, as I, thought, as I said to you a couple of minutes ago, towards the bottom of this hill. In fact, there's a fence ahead of us beyond which we cannot go. So I hope you're in good spirits, viewers, watchers, folk, because the whole point of this walk is very near to being established now. Is that the noise I can hear? I can hear a noise. I think it's the one I'm expecting. If so, you will be the first to see it. Because it's something that makes a noise. Oh, it's a beep. So is that a bus? Is it a tram? Is it a train? Soon find out. Coming right down to the flat bit now. It sounded like a train. How can there be a train in the middle of a wood? Very unusual. For those of you who know where Norfolk Park is, have probably guessed what railway it is. Okay, last little bit now. And uh, then we shall be on the level ground. Yes, it does sound like a train, and I think it is a train. So it's a new first. Exploring, go exploring with Peter the Rock and you will see not only geographical things but also modes of transport. Oh, it's growing in sound. And that sounds like they're kids on the train. Enjoying it, I heard a gleeful shout. Can't see it yet. Where is it? Oh, yes I can. We will be able to see it through this this. Yes, we can. Isn't that wonderful? There is a little railway. They call it a miniature railway. It's not all that miniature. It's 12 inch gauge. And it's quite a, quite a lot of carriages. Some are open. Most of them are occupied. And I'll tell you what it is. Still going through. It's the Rice Lip Lido Railway run by volunteers. Fantastic. The train arrived just as we did. How about that for planning? Um,
Okay, well, with one last look at the golf course, you can see a flag up there, which proves it's the golf course. Birds chirping. I shall sign off. It's been nice talking to you. Bye.